Can I bring this sparkle drive back to life? Well, in today's episode, we're gonna find out if I can repair this sparkle drive and modify it for some extra tones. Hello people, Joe from Hello Zero FX here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this sparkle drive that was gifted to me by my buddy Hex, who plays for the Whiskey Daredevils. Check them out if you're into cool music. Who's not into cool music? Anyway, we're gonna be taking a look at how I go about repairing a pedal, and also some mods that you can do to your Tube Screamer type clones. Um, I'm assuming this is a Tube Screamer, I don't even know yet. But some mods that you can do to your Tube Screamer type clones. Stick around to the end, and you're either gonna see me fall flat on my face and not be able to repair it, because I will post the video, or we're all gonna learn together. So this is it, the Voodoo Lab Sparkle Drive. Turn it over, I've got the back off already, and there's a nice neat circuit board. So. First of all, before I do anything, before I start taking anything apart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my audio probe. Now, if you don't know what an audio probe is, please head to the, the video above uh, where I describe how to make an audio probe and how to use it. Now, if you're wondering, this is what I use as my uh, bench top amplifier. And I've got my audio probe here. So I'm just going to connect that up. For the longest time, I leaned the guitar up against the wall or the bulkhead on board the ship and it would fall over all the time. I'd strum it and then audio probe. And then I had an epiphany and now I just use a, a wiretap. My buddy HB Guitar on Instagram recorded me a few little loops and I just used them. So that's revolutionized it. But anyway, we can see using the audio probe, if you go to our input, we know that the signal is coming from there to our input because I can hear it. It's making it all the way to our switch. It's not making it to the outside, uh, to the opposite side of it, and that could be because it's buffer bypass. There you go, buffer bypass, and it's louder on the buffer out. All right, Hex, if you're, if you're watching this, buddy, it appears that your pedal is actually working, but I'm gonna whip the circuit out, and we'll have a closer look. Upon taking this pedal apart, first of all, you can see that absolutely fantastically made so fair play to voodoo and um, this is a great great pedal what the circuit boards in, immense but uh when, when i was pulling the uh, the circuit out this happened so it looks like the the stomp switch is a uh, is it basically it's it's functioning but it's falling apart so maybe maybe when hex was standing on it this wasn't um wasn't operating so I'm gonna just crimp these ends down a bit harder. What? A bit harder. And I'm just gonna crimp this top down a bit better so then it um it doesn't come undone and maybe that'll be it. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna modify just these two diodes here, the clipping diodes. I'm gonna take these two out and I'll I'll mount them on a switch. So then you've got the option to have these diodes, or you can have an option for a bit of other clipping. Now, if you're interested in a deep dive into diode clipping, especially in a Tube Screamer, see the video above, because I go real deep into uh, into waveforms and, well, it's a little bit boring, to be honest. But if you love pedals, maybe it isn't boring. It's not boring to me. Right, let's get cracking. Both the diodes removed, the one and two, and in their place, I've just attached a wire on, on each terminal or on each end of one of the diodes, that's going to run out to a switch, which I'm going to position roughly here. Um, I'll drill the enclosure so it fits in. And what we're going to have is, we're going to have three different sections of clipping. Again, this is all in a vintage overdrive mods for beginners video that I linked before. But the center position is going to be no clipping whatsoever, mainly because you get high headroom, glassy feel, and that's my favorite. Then one side's going to be these diodes, which are some really old Japanese ones that used to come in some of the first TSAs, 808, I can't remember the model number. And then we're going to go asymmetrical with some four, uh, 1N4007s, if I can ever pick them up. We go asymmetrical with them on the other side, just for a different flavour. There we have it. The switch has been added with our symmetrical silicon and then asymmetrical power diodes. And then the center position will be no clipping diodes whatsoever. So there we have it. We've removed our two diodes. 
we have our cable coming out or two cables coming out they're attaching to this three-way switch so it's a double pole single uh, double pole double throw switch apologies center position is no clipping diodes then we have our silicon symmetrical vintage japanese diodes and then our asymmetrical power diodes fantastic i'm just looking now thinking shall i maybe upgrade one of the two of the cheaper parts in here so i know c3 is a 47 nf cap it's quite a cheap cap i could definitely upgrade that one and then maybe some of these box caps we could put something a bit more uh, quote unquote boutique in there oh no you don't let me know in the comments what you, you people think about adding expensive boutique vintage whatever you want to call it components into a, a drive pedal that already has cheaper ones in there i have been flying for that in the past that's kind of what my, uh, my whole plans about so whatever cheers right I, i'm going to go ahead I'm, I'm definitely going to change these caps here and this here for something a bit more i'm going to i'm going to use the same values so is it going to change anything apart from me knowing nothing in there Right, so I just had a little route round my uh, my cap drawers, and I'm going to go with uh, these three caps here. So we've got a silver maker cap, t a nice TCC box cap. This is amazing, and a Mullard tropical fish cap. I'm just going to go out and go ahead and change these three to start. Then maybe we'll load the pedal up and see what it sounds like. So here's our caps now changed over to silver maker and some quote unquote boutique. Flame me in the comments, everyone, please. Uh, boutique caps over here. For no other reason than I had the pedal open and I can. Next step is going to be to, I'm going to try and hand crimp this, this switch back down because it's still working and I'll resolder these joints here and then we'll put the pedal back together and hear how it sounds. On a side note, I'm going to use my trusty pliers or I'm not even sure what they're called uh, to crimp this down. Now, if anyone can find a pair of these, I highly advise you to find them. There's the, maybe the, the name and number on the side. I've used these for everything. I stole them off my last ship. Sorry, work. But uh, I stole them off my last ship because they're so handy. I use them for literally everything. Absolute disaster has struck. So, in the process of putting the board back in, I figured out why the pedal broke in the first place. You kind of have to squeeze the switch into the hole while simultaneously um, situating the, the top mounted jacks and stuff. That's what cause the pressure on the switch in the first place and now I have pieces of switch everywhere. Brilliant! So, the plan is, desolder this, replace it with something a little bit smaller, an alpha one, and run some cables so then this can't happen in the future. Wish me luck! Okay, so now I've got that all back together, I've fitted an alpha switch, as you can see here with the different um, ring around it and stuff, and we've also got our a three-way selector switch for diode selection we've got in this position here we are looking at the power diodes asymmetrical no clipping whatsoever and then symmetrical vintage um japanese silicon that was a weird uh, a weird full a mouthful i'm not you probably won't be able to see on camera but all i've done is i've removed the old switch which has absolutely fell apart and i've just made it so then there's there's cables in between the switch and the board now so it's not directly board mounted so getting this circuit board in and out of the pedal in the future should be a cinch now the bit that everyone's been waiting for let's see how it sounds <laughs> the sounds from the new voodoo lab sparkle drive hello sailor modified fixed rectified version whatever i'm gonna get that back to hex and just check out how cool that album is the guitarist from the whiskey daredevils give them a give them a a check out and i'll see you guys in the next episode